Hello, this is the Provoke Prawn, and have you found that you've run out of USB headers on your motherboard while building your PC? This can really easily happen if you're throwing in RGB fans with various different fan controllers. Maybe you've got a all-in-one radiator and CPU cooler, and perhaps some RGB streamer cables with some nice RGB lighting, or a mass of fans with loads of different connectors and maybe multiple control boxes. You'll quickly end up with two, three, or more USB connections, and then suddenly the two USB connectors on your motherboard aren't enough, and obviously this is a problem. Some motherboards only have one USB header and you'll find them down the bottom and this can then be an issue if you've got two cables to connect to it. The basic connection for these is usually really straightforward. You just plug in a USB connection and then you're away and you can use those whatever. But if you end up with three cables and you only have two connections, what do you do? Well, don't worry, there are some solutions and they're really easy and they're really affordable. So in the description, I'll link to a couple of different controllers that I've used. This is one example. So this is basically a splitter. So it takes two USB cables into it and then it puts it into one USB connection that then plugs into your motherboard. So you can basically use these and they're really, really cheap and they work really well and they just plug and play. You just plug your USB cables into them and then use the 3M stickers on the other side to stick it to the back of your case, run the front USB cable through to your motherboard, plug it into the bottom as you would with your usual USB connection and then you've got that straightforward, easy connection. Obviously you could use a couple of these you can also buy ones with more on them, so you can get similar controllers with four USB connections that can go into one port, so that's an option. I usually find that just two is enough, and then you've got three connections instead of two on your motherboard, or two instead of one, depending on your setup. And then you've got a really straightforward setup there. And then obviously you just plug that into your motherboard in the usual way, you just need to find somewhere for it. But that then solves your problem. Now there are other options out there. Lee and Lee has this three USB to one connection here that you can see. I'll link to this in the description. It basically it's slightly different. It has cables that come out of it on either side. One with a long three prong connector that allows you to plug three different connections into it and then you one connection. Obviously this is ideal especially if you're building with something like Lee and Lee where you have loads of different controllers. If you see AL120 fans two streamer cables and then obviously you've got a pump to deal with as well this just makes life a lot easier it is an additional purchase unfortunately but they are reasonably affordable and then the end result is that you've now got a pc that will work and you can control everything from the software as you'd want to so you've got some nice rgb lighting and everything's working as it should be sure to check out the links in the description for all of these things thanks for watching